What is up guys, welcome back to the channel guys We're here back in Sweden The coolest city in Sweden Could y'all guess what the coolest city is in Sweden? I'm gonna give you about 5 seconds, you know what I'm saying Guess that 4, 3, 2, 1 Gothenburg We in Gothenburg, Sweden Um I mean, I already put it on the thumbnail, but I still wanted to give some people time in case they missed the thumbnail. But we finna check out Gothenburg. I checked out Mamo. We got Gothenburg. I actually did a video on Sweden, top five cities on one of my faceless channels that I have. And, you know, Gothenburg was on that list. Gothenburg, we have Visby, Stockholm, Malmo, and one more. What was the other one? forgot the other one, but i'm trying to check out all these all these cities in sweden you know because maybe i'll get to see all of them or some of them for sure uh i know for sure too this year so that's my plan that's my goal but gothenburg we finna check it out with this tour gothenburg one of the coolest places to visit coolest today we will be looking at one of the coolest places to visit in europe gothenburg okay. sweden Gothenburg has everything you could want out of a Swedish nice, city. Nice, nice, With nice. colorful architecture, vibrant Look at that. festivals, they was on the bridge. and it's very own. Are they eating and stuff on this bridge? City. With colorful That's architecture, I ain't never vibrant seen that. festivals, and it's very own pretty cool. fish church. This fish gem church. of the north is what? an undervalued but much loved destination mm -hmm. that you should definitely take the it. time to see. Look at so that bridge. So in that spirit, today let's explore Sweden's second nice. biggest city. First, oh yeah, it is the second tip. biggest. Yep. When you visit matters. It's no secret that Sweden can be a cold Ooh. place. So naturally, what you do in the city varies greatly depending on the time of year. Gothenburg Snow is a wonderful and sun, locale, yeah. and there are advantages to visiting in every season. But the time of Dang. year should play. I think that's that's gonna be a bucket list thing for me to go to Sweden in the cold, and I don't even do the cold. That's a bucket list. One of these days, I will. I don't like the cold. Play a man. huge role in deciding downfall. your vacation timeline. Be sure to stay that. tuned till the end of the video for the best tips to consider for when to plan your trip Stand to Gothenburg. All that said, there are plenty Ooh. of evergreen experiences that should be considered nice. any time of the year. A big pool to Gothenburg fish is the market. Sweden is a country built fish. on fishing. And modern Gothenburg... Every time I see... I think this is the second or third video I've seen uh, of Sweden. They talk about fish. It makes me want some fish. I might have to cook some Pretty tonight. Pretty much lives up to that history. Okay, it got some to-go fish. It as a fishing Super hub good. in the Baltic. Mm. And today, that heritage that can clams? still be seen at Feskakora. This indoor fish market Ooh. is oh, a what must the do. That thing scared me. We'll be seen at Feskakora. This indoor fish. That fish look like bubble baths from SpongeBob. What the? That's a. That can't be a fish. That cannot. That's a sea monster. What in the world? This was on the Mamo one too. I said that thing. Nah, that thing lips as big as mine. Look at that. Heck, look at the structure on those lips. Oh, no. Nah. Market is a must-do oh, for I can't any eat seafood that. lover. Taste local catch Ooh. and see for yourself what made Gothenburg Jeez. famous. Okay. Just be prepared for the smell. What does it smell for like? even closer view, investigate the ever-present okay, fishing, of fishing scene again, for yourself. Little bitty fish. Depending on where you go, fly fishing. I need to see who getting them big old sea monsters out of there. Fishing, what in the world? Ice fishing are all potential options. Ice fishing. Be sure to read up on specific the guidelines crafts, and okay. regulations, or even consider hiring a guide for the best ways to approach mm -hmm. your specific fishing expedition. Now, do you need a license to fish? I know here in my town, I would say for my town, I don't know how it works in every other town, but I know you need, you need a fishing license. You can't even just fish, you gotta have a license. If you find yourself captivated Which by the history much, of the city, you know? but are intimidated by the vast legacy of the city, fear not. European cities Fear are not. often very good about encouraging education, oh, snap. and Gothenburg is what no is different. That? Many museums are oh, free for students dang. and those under 20 years old. I got an elephant in that And thing. relatively inexpensive for wow. anyone who doesn't meet that criteria. 
with a variety of options art. with several varying Some focuses, good paintings right there. Nice. you have a lot of options. Wow. On the more traditional side, the Museum of Gothenburg cool. is sure to get you on the fast track Museum to learning all about the city's rich history. Gothenburg. And subverting that theme is the House of Emigrants. Oh, which cool. looks at the of lives immigrants. of immigrants who left the country wow. to settle in the United States during the 19th and 20th centuries. Look at those Both artifacts. museums give interesting insights oh, to the snap. composition of historical Gothenburg and contextualizes where that Dang. leaves the city. Look at that. Oh, Today. wow. Awesome. That's More the specialized bling pieces bling bling. can also be fun. The Maritman yeah. allows you to explore its maritime history oh, wow. by boarding a collection of sea vessels. Is that all oh, I was about to say? Is this the military While ships the and Aero stuff? Seal and aircraft? shows off its impressive wow. collection of flying vehicles. That's pretty cool. My dad, uh, my dad served in the Navy and I went to, he took us to the air show, I believe like two or three times I went with him. I'm sure he went probably every year, you know, being in the Navy and stuff, you know, you do all those things. You know, or knew or know about all those things, but went to an air show when I was younger. We I got to sit in some at least some American aircraft that they use and stuff. It was pretty cool, it was pretty different. But we had an air show here, I think last year in Dallas, and that Joker, like I don't know what they were doing and it crashed. Like if y'all wanna look that up, you can Google it, you know, uh aircraft crashes in Dallas. Uh yeah, I think military aircraft crashes in Dallas, you could probably find it like that. But it was just crazy. It was over at McDonald's. Everything happens at McDonald's. But but these are cool. These are cool And for those aircraft, looking so. to keep their feet solidly on the Look ground, the Volvo Museum is a favorite Volvo. of Got car enthusiasts. Museum. The first One car. The first Volvo. The right is that Gothenburg is an old city that doesn't always Ooh, nice. feel like an old mm. city. A walk around feels more modern than one might expect yeah. from somewhere that is 400 that. years old. Wow. One great way to get a sense of the city Padden, is on a Padden tour. Padden tour, that would be nice. Paddens are low-lying barges expressly for the purpose of sightseeing. That would be cool. What better way to learn about a place than seeing its sights from the water that true, traces true. its edges? As an added bonus, these tours are hop on, hop off. Meaning you can leave the tour at landmarks you really like. And really? resume it again later once you've finished. How do you get off? One thing that shocks most people. I didn't see no like I didn't see no sidewalk or nothing you can get off at or nothing like that. Absolutely stellar greenery in the and greenery. out of the city. Park life is an important and oh. constant part of the Gothenburg experience. Nice out there. You would be foolish to miss out on your chance to take a day take and a appreciate nice stroll. lush natural enclaves that have been created for your relaxation purposes. Mm. One particular favorite Slots is Slotskogen. Situated Kogan. near the middle of the, the city, Slots many Kogan. Swedes pass through its park on an everyday basis. Uh -huh. It can be a wonderful way Dang. to people watch Those names and are big. view urban life as it is meant to be lived in. Slotskogen also features its Slots own Kogan. zoo and botanical gardens for added activities mm. to fill your time at the park. An cool. afternoon here is truly an idyllic oh, place. Oh, no, to not the day. penguins. So pack up the shrimp and berries and have yourself a Swedish picnic. Just say the full shrimps of and berries. Cuisine. Interesting combination. A short walk Haga. from Slotskogen is Haya Nagata, Haya Nagata, a charming little street full of cafes Haya and shops. Nagata. As you walk, I'm pronouncing these totally wrong. Haya Nagata. By, but then again, I don't even know if this like one of those type of videos they just pronouncing it the wrong way. We'll pass the I could be right. Scotsken Cronin. A 19th century Scotson, fortress Scotson, that certainly Scotson, lends Scotson. an authority to things, fortress. reminding Ooh. you of the city's roots. While exploring, oh, that good. be sure to stop for a fika. Got to. No trip to Sweden is complete without a coffee stop and talk. Nice. And visit a local restaurant to experiment with some uniquely Swedish food like experiences. Some good coffee. Bananas on oh. pizza, anyone? Bananas and on pizza? And for the final destination what? within Gothenburg city limits, the Leisberg Amusement Park is oh. a fun day-long experience. See, now that's my type of ride. Family. Of particular note is the Balder Coaster, which has a Balder reputation coaster. as one of the best wooden coasters oh. in Oh, I don't world. trust that wooden coaster. In I don't a country trust the known wood for cold weather, coast. Sweden really knows how to value its time in the sun. Because nice. Sweden is so far north, 
During the summer, the day lasts what feels like forever, mm. and the residents of the city have become masters of making the most of it. Summertime is an excellent time for natural excursions,、oh. especially those that exist slightly outside the city's borders. The nice, Gothenburg nice. Archipelago is host Archipelago. to what feels like dozens of islands,、Archipelago. exploring each host its own adventure. Like all those houses on the Plus, lake. There is something very special、nice. about journeying by boat under the afternoon sun. You can see、Just、everything on boat. Just be sure to beware a beowulf. A who beowulf? Sweden is a country known for its lakes. A trip outside the city will bring. Be beware a beowulf. I've seen that movie. Just be sure to beware a beowulf. Beowulf. Sweden is a country known for its lakes. A trip outside the city will bring a multitude of、Not、day trip、duck. options. Quack, quack. Whether it's one the water or on the shores,、mm, you can't go、mm. wrong in experiencing this integral part of the Swedish experience. As nice, you can probably、nice. guess, in a country with such a heavy focus on nature, there is an abundance of walks and hikes in every direction、like、and a variety of activities. Boots. For those exceptionally adventurous ones, many trails have spots where you can latch in for mountain climbing. Sweden truly does love、Dang. an active <laughs> lifestyle. Kayaking break. In the winter months, Gothenburg is illuminated by festivity、Ooh. and cheer. While many of the outdoor、candy. activities are less popular, the Christmas markets are a fun feature of the holiday season. Oh. Additionally, is, is when the temperature plummets, many find comfort in the Swedish spa scene. Saunas、hey. are a popular way to warm up from the outdoor. This is the first time. Oh, I stopped it on the wrong place. This is the first time I ever just seen like a Swedish spa. I think one place, one guy did go to one, but I think he stayed at like a hotel maybe. But all I know, yeah, I, I, I think I'm overdue for a good massage too myself.、Scene. Saunas to, are a popular to way to warm up from the outdoor chill. And really, <laughs> what's nicer, braving the cold from the comfort of the warm and toasty that's indoors? True, that's true. Ultimately, the most important summer, thing to consider for your trip summer, to Gothenburg is whether you can time it with one of the city's many festivals. Oh, what they doing? Much attention has. Yeah, y'all gotta let me know what they doing. What it is? Whether you can time it with one of the. What are they dancing around a tree? These many festivals. Much attention has been paid to Sweden's Midsummer Festival, Midsommar. especially since the release of the horror movie named after it. And this summer、What、solstice celebration、this? is well known for a reason. With festivals and activities ranging from making flower crowns to puppet、Strawberry、festivals, Ooh, the day is spent being merry. Many local celebrations、oh、are keen on including、That's、everyone dancing around the maypole. They do a tug of war. That said.、Here? Gothenburg is versatile, and there are other festivals、oh, to、wow. time a visit around if you're looking for an excuse to go. She's just chilling, knitting. The city's science festival is held in the springtime, and engages residents and visitors alike in science events, lectures, and other activities. Some dancing. In August, the culture festival hosts concerts. Hold up! They look like they were doing the electric slide. I didn't know that was worldwide. Activities. Look at that. In August,、oh, the culture festival、slide. hosts no, concerts. No. Presentations and all、here. types of free performances that celebrate Nordic culture. Nice, this was nice. Gothenburg, Gothenburg is a welcoming place that is best experienced when interacting with its people.、Oh. It has some of the best views in all of Scandinavia, and should definitely be on your travel bucket list. I'm gonna have to put it on. So, what is your Gothenburg sure, dream、sure. vacation? Do you prefer the wonder of chilly winter? Definitely not. I gotta go summer? in the summer. Or maybe summertime, summer fine. Tell us in the comments below. The highest capital And, in Europe. As always, where to, to next? Where to next? Where to next? This was actually good. I like this Gothenburg. I got a lot to, got a lot to offer, a lot in store, a lot to see out here. But this was real cool. The coolest city in Sweden. You know, I don't like to be the judge of that. So. But y'all, let me know what you think. We from Gothenburg. Shout out to Gothenburg. You know,、uh, I'm sure I have a good amount of you from Gothenburg on here. At least I think so. I would think so. But maybe all of you. But yeah, like I said, where to next? You know, I I've done Visby, done Stockholm, Malmo, Gothenburg. I think it's one more I need to do. It's one more, and I don't even know what it is. 
I got Bisbee. Uppsala. Uppsala. That's what it is. And I'm probably saying that wrong, but Uppsala, Sweden. You're next. I got to do that one next, but appreciate you guys for tuning in. That's all I have for this. Like I said, shout out to Gothenburg. Look, I ain't going to lie. I do look like a cool city. Very laid back, very chill vibes there. So I enjoyed this. Hope y'all did too. Hit that subscribe button. Send down more recommendations. And y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.